Hello and welcome to episode 13 of my Working with Evernote series. In today's episode, I want to just go through uh, how to organize your notebooks in Evernote. And more specifically, I've been asked a few questions this week about how to stack projects, uh, sorry, notebooks, oh, I get confused, how to stack notebooks in Evernote. So, uh, first of all, this is usually the, the default setting for when you're looking at your notebooks in the native application on your laptop or desktop. Uh, I actually prefer this particular uh, view of um, <clears throat> notebooks because I don't know why, it just sums up, it's, it's just the way I actually uh, prefer to see it but most people and what I see on the on YouTube is I see most people have it set up like this so I will I will use this setting for you and then I will show you how I use mine so just to review this is basically how my projects or my notebooks are set up I have my inbox for collect, collecting notes which I actually processed uh, last night so I have nothing in there today I have my current projects notebooks now this is stacked so all I would do is double tap on that and it will open up the stack and in here I've got uh, my 2007 plan of action which I'm working on at the moment I've got business creativity which is a book that I'm writing or have actually finished writing check-in is a book that I've been writing for about three years and I will eventually get round to finishing it Korean is uh, my sort of uh, project because I really I live in Korea I really do need to start improving my uh, Korean language skills uh, Pi 2016 is my uh, seminar or workshop on presenting in English, which is why it's called Pi. Uh, to do his book is in here too, which is uh, related to the chapters that I'm working on. And Uphone English is a project that I'm working on with a client of mine. So that's my current project stack. Now, what you'll notice is if you're following my working with Todoist series, you'll notice that these don't necessarily correspond with my work projects uh, project list but that's okay because these projects are things that I come to and it's also projects that I'm going to be working on they're not necessarily reflecting exactly the same as my Todoist so to collapse that I can double tap on it again general work reference folders are for all my just reference general reference materials for work general reference personal general references as you can see I do have a lot more personal reference because Todoist is where I capture stuff for research and reading later. Free talking is uh, basically for my one-to-one -one, uh, business English classes that I work with with clients. Someday maybe these are things I'd like as as you know from my purchase list for example last week Dream Collage which I've covered before. Archive is just notebooks that I've collected over the last uh, seven years and I've only got four in there but they're in there. And I've got in my trash down here, I've got notes. Incidentally, to delete your trash, if you click on control and then tap, you get the option to empty trash, which I will do right now. So I can empty my trash and it will empty slowly, but it will empty the trash. Uh, it keeps Evernote nice and clean. So there we go. That's how I do that. So the question is now, how do you stack a notebook? Um, so let's have a look at this if I open up uh, I'm gonna create a new notebook I'm gonna call that stackable Ooh, I can't spell stackable notebook so that's my new notebook I've just created stackable notebook and I want to put that into my dream collage for example all I have to do is just grab it and then just move it to my dream collage and drop and if I drop on there, now you'll notice that Dream Collage now has two notebooks in there. Now, um, I can drag that out like that, and it comes out, and that will go back to not being stackable. Actually, it says it's stackable, but it isn't stackable anymore. I can do this. Um, actually, if I come out of that, I go into tags for a moment and then go back into notebooks, hopefully. Oh, it's still showing. But that... Um, that now is no longer stackable um, and 
I can just to, to actually I realize now I just remembered you have to drag it out of the stack as well sorry I've forgotten about that one it's been a long time since I stacked anything so again just to show you that the easiest way to do it is just to drag the file and just move it onto the folder that onto the um, onto the notebook that you actually want so I'm going to drag it on there it creates the stack and to remove the stack just drag it out and drag that one out and now it's no longer stacked so that's how we stack projects and that's how you re sorry stack notebooks and that's how you drag them out of the notebook so again if I go into my into here I can drag that one out and no longer in there so I can close the close the thing and now you'll see that this particular uh, notebook is there but I want it in my current project so I just grab it and just stack it in there now the same happens when you go into the list view which is my preferred view I can drag that out and it comes out um, I can drag that back in and I drag it up there and it will just drop into my um, stack now remember these are put into uh, alphabetical order so if you want to change the order I strongly recommend that you actually use numbers like 0 1 0 2 0 3 etc that way you can actually have them in an order if you wish to have them in an order so hopefully that has answered the question that I got two questions I think this week about how to stack and unstack notebooks that's basically how you do it you can group them together and they can be very very useful particularly when you start getting a lot of notebooks in your Evernote using stacks for say work or home or whatever or specific projects can be very useful okay please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to get more useful I hope useful tips on using Evernote and also, if you have any questions at all regarding this Evernote series, please leave a message or leave a comment, a question in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to get back to you. So I wish you all a very, very productive week, and I'll see you in the next episode.